this is Gus G and you're watching Guitar Gear Guy. Thank you for tuning in. Hello everyone, how are you? This is yours truly Triple G coming at you once again and today a little bit of a different housekeeping type of video. So uh, GGG Compound has moved in recent weeks. So I need to reset up my uh, room, quote unquote. Uh, if you remember a bunch of my videos from last 10 year, past 10 years, I had this wall of amps where I mostly shot in front of, unless I was shooting from my office. But now the Triple G has a new compound. I need to reset up my stuff, but I'm also working with a lot less real estate space. So what is going to happen? Uh, let me quickly turn around and show you what is going on. So over there, you see I have a string swing slate wall hanger already. That was my prototype. So that is going to happen on this wall. I'm going to go top and bottom. So this box full of stuff right here is the additional string swing slate stuff that will go right here. And on top of all that, I got this rack over here that is housing all of these guitars for the time being. Probably too dark for all the stuff to show. But basically what I'm gonna do is all the guitar, well, most of the guitars that's in the soft gig bag, those are gonna come out of the gig bags and they're going to be hung right here. Guitars that are in the hard cases, those will probably stay in hard case. So uh, that's the plan right now. Let me now turn this thing around again. And you get to see my ugly face one more time. By the way, my camera get up right now for this vlog is a super heavy, so uh, my hand is shaking. I don't know how Peter McKinnon does it. Okay, so that's uh, about what's going on. So. While I install the uh, wall slate hangers and whatever else, I'm gonna try to uh, film that as well as a time lapse, some of that stuff so you don't see the boring bits and taking you with me on this journey. All right, folks, so now that we've got the uh, upper row mounted, we are gonna now hang the actual hooks like this. So this one is a multi-angle hook that they uh, make. So it's five inches like this, two inch, eh, they say two, but doesn't look two, but anyhow. So you could um, pivot this to an angle that you like, and then you clamp it down with this, and then actual part where the guitars hang they sent me a by the way i bought every single one of these i actually did hit them up to see if there will be any discount in buying multiple units like i did but there was no discount to be had so everything i bought with my own money so nothing special uh no special treatment anyways so the guitar hooks where the headstocks rest like this whole bunch of them and so what you do is you screw this on so there you go so you just screw that in on each hook hanger that I'm gonna have and it's gonna go like so on the wall and then this over here will be at an angle that I want and I clamp it down and then I start hanging so that's what we're gonna do now okay so this is one four feet hanger and that's one four feet uh, plate. So uh, each four feet plate is supposed to have uh, five of these uh, hangers. But I am going to push my luck and see if I could hang six. There is enough space for it depending on how you orientate your guitars. Uh, there is enough space for even more than six possibly but um, the weight of it when all like a six seven guitars hang i'm not sure how that's gonna play out so i'm gonna go with the six and see how it all works out all right so 
that's how it's going to be right there for the six that's going to hang this way. So what I'm going to do is hook up the other six hangers on this side, then I'm going to hang 12 guitars um, so that I could kind of gauge what height I need to have the bottom row plate to hang at. So there you go. We'll be right back. All right. So I've got a couple guitars hung on either side, basically. and. I've got about the correct height so now what I'm going to do is hang the lower level plates like I said earlier and then um, leave enough room so that once the headstock goes on it still has ample room where it's not going to touch the uh, bottom of the guitar that's on the upper row. Um, I decided against hanging any B guitars up on the top row on this wall anyways because it's gonna come down way too low, creating a situation where the bottom row of the plates are gonna be just a little bit too low. So, the Vs will hang on my other wall where I, um, there will be no lower level plate. That, um, so, the height of it wouldn't matter at that point. So anyhow, I'm gonna cut the video right here. We're gonna install the lower level plate and start hanging guitars. All right, folks, so all the guitar hanger hooks are on. I gotta take the masking tape off, and there's my one side of the wall where I'm just gonna hang all the V's or the Explorers or whatever. Not all, but ones that I'm gonna bust out of the gig bags. And then there's the upper row that the, uh, the hooks are set on. 45 degree angle. I still have to get the retaining clips on there. So the bottom row here, I have, um, I don't have them at an angle. So these are two inch hooks right here. Okay, so all the hangers are up and now some guitars are up. I don't know if these are the final ones that I'm gonna hang on the wall again ones that were in my gig bags are currently going up so as you can see in the background they are up so let me just take you to uh, do a quick tour so on this side i got my explorer oh more on that guitar soon <laughs> okay so the draco we got jackson kelly we got the gus g couple of V's up hanging nicely up there and then on this wall we have coincidentally these are all double cuts up on the top over here there you go and on the bottom row we have Charvel to Jericho to Eddie Zach that one at the final, at the end is gonna come off and something else will go there. So anyhow, so that's kind of uh, what the wall looks like right now. Um, soon to be going through some more modifications. And I still got these guitars on the, over here that's all in the hard case. And then behind me I have a closet full of about another 30 guitars so I definitely have some storage problems over here. But anyhow, so there you go. Until next time, you guys all take care and be good humans. Triple G out.